Good morning, friends. In part 22, we have seen the three types of anger. Number one, anger used as a weapon. Number two, addicted to anger. And number three, suppressed anger. In explaining anger, which is used as a tool to achieve whatever they want to such people, whether in office or house, we need to be very, very careful in handling them. In respect of suppressed anger, we have to remember two things very clear. Anger, when it is expressed, it destroys others. Anger, when it is suppressed, it destroys the self. We have also seen in respect of addicted anger and also people who use displaced anger. I have given my own example which happened few years back. For no reasons I was verbally abused by my boss and when I came home my twin children were fighting with each other. I have separated them, gave a good beatings to the boy and at that time I was feeling sad for the displaced anger because the original reason was I was angry against the boss and number two I was confident that the young boy will not hit me back. Now the daughter who sat next to me said I wanted to talk to her. What she talked to me forms this part 23. When she said I will give you three advice to come out of anger. This in a way reminded me about the three monkeys of Atma Gandhiji, our beloved father of the nation. And without saying anything, I just told her, okay, tell me what it is. The first advice she gave was, life is with small, small incidences every day. Do not get provoked by small, small things. When she said that, I was totally surprised because the depth of meaning in those small words. Do not get provoked by little things, little happenings in life. When she said that, I just immediately remembered about a beautiful quote, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. This famous quote, many of us are aware. When small things happen, we do not accept the things which are happening and we lack the wisdom to know the difference between things I cannot change and the things I can change. So when she said that, do not get provoked by small, small things happening every day, I found this advice was extraordinary because many of us, even for slight mistakes, we react very violently, either physically or mentally, we abuse others. I was a little curious. I asked her, who told you all? She did not reply me, but she said, please don't ask. I will tell you later. Now, since you really want to control your anger, please listen to my second advice. The second advice which she gave was never hurt the feelings of others. First advice was physical abuse. The second advice she said was never hurt the feelings of others. I was really became very curious at that time because though this looked very simple never hurt the feelings of others to just look back the days when you were 
very angry and when you used words as a weapon to destroy the people who raised objection to your observation or who have come into your way just calmly think and recollect those words if you just see those words you will be surprised those were the most venomous words we might have used at that particular point of time many times what happens is we do not express when it is to be expressed that is why they said anybody can become angry that is not difficult what is very difficult is to get right type of anger at the right place at the right time at the right intensity that everybody cannot do it when you get angry about the thing about what has happened at that time we have suppressed our feelings our emotions we have suppressed we have not expressed in a mild way also what we felt but later on when the displaced anger comes when we start abusing people with words all those suppressed feelings suppressed observations which were there in our mind also gets into our tongue and we reach people left and right with venomous words which were normally we would have avoided so she says very important second thing is never hurt the people the intention is that is why we shift from our focus from what has happened to the people the third important now i was looking her with due respect and the third advice she has given me was whatever you want him to do you first do it i think i was so shocked to hear this from a 7 year old kid she said today whenever he gets angry he beats me because she has learned this from you you were responsible for his behavior if you want him that he should not beat me or anyone then you should not beat anyone indian or you should not use physical abuse if you want him to be understanding and lovable you also try to show as an example what a beautiful advice whatever you want him to do you first do it if you want your staff member to be in time in office you have to be in time in your office if you want your children should not tell lie you should not tell lie if you want your children to be corrupt free you have to be corrupt free if you want your children to lead a principled life you have to lead a principle life we cannot have different yardstick for different people first of all whatever you advise others you have to follow up you have to first understand first you learn this and then you have to follow expect him to follow that so whatever when she said this she just ran away i was speechless 
and I was thinking again and again the whole night it was coming in my attitude how to change whatever the children yes because please remember one thing medically it has now been proved that if a child is very very short tempered from younger days he is prone to be diabetic in later on when he grows up an adult because one of the contributing factors for diabetes is stress and tension so if you want your children to study very hard during examinations without seeing tv and other things you should not see tv during those periods so to control anger you have to be an example then only you will be able to control your people by not expressing anger in a venomous way this was the first beginning because all along my wife tried many times to change me from my short temperament but these three advice changed me completely my thinking and took me to the new role of learning from the mistakes when i realized this and after 3 years again as a 10 year old kid both of them were fighting i stopped them and told this is what happened 3 years back and this was the advice given to me by her now what i should do when they are fighting now she simply smiled and said control yourself when the situation angry situation when the situation is beyond our control we have to control ourselves from this neurotic behavior that is why anger management is a great tool but a very simple tool that will help us to come out of anger. as a refined person this four advice what she has given me completely it goes with the anger management principles given by experts so in my next part 24 we shall see about the principles given in anger management thank you very much have a good day